Imagine opening a Coke. Psh, that sound is gas escaping from your drink. Well, the same thing happens when we strike oil, except what escapes is called natural gas. Oil is often found in remote locations, but it's so valuable that we transport it all around the world. Natural gas isn't so valuable, and so what should we do with all our extra gas? Well, we set it on fire. Every year, we just waste enough natural gas that we could meet the energy needs of half of Canada if we actually used it. This is not only bad for climate change, it's also bad for air quality. But soot is hard to measure, and so it's hard to regulate. I measure soot in scaled down versions of, of these flames in a lab. I measure soot concentration, soot particle size, and soot aggregate size, because these are three factors important for air quality and for global climate change. I do this by hitting the soot with a laser. This does three things. First, it superheats soot, allowing me to measure soot concentration only in that heated zone. Also, the laser scatters in all directions. By measuring how strongly it scatters and where, I can, can, can figure out soot particle size and soot aggregate size. Our goal is to be able to predict how much soot and what kind of soot these flares, these flames create so that industry and regulators can set some soot emission standards. We also hope that one day we can can convince industry that they should be using all this gas to, say, power half of Canada, rather than just sending it all up in smoke.